Alright, welcome back everyone, it's David, aka Faramir4731, and I'm bringing you something I haven't done in a while, it's a online multiplayer matchup. This is a 1v1 on the Caucasus map, and in this matchup, I am going to be playing as Austria, and the rules in this match are no fixed artillery, that's it. You can bring as much art as you want, as much light as you want, as much cav of any kind as you want. Um, I'm not the host of this uh, match, uh, my opponent is, and he's playing as USA, and I noticed this player um, on Saturday, uh, and I've never seen the guy before, his name is Fady, F-A-Y-D-E-E, -E. never seen him before, I noticed he had 9 stars and he was playing a ranked game on the Caucasus map, 1v1, and uh, with a... Uh, rules like no artillery I figured he was doing some type of uh, troll army so I figured I would try and show him you know troll armies don't work against veteran players so because uh, usually they just play noobs and they get nine stars by beating them on only ranked games so or and if they get somebody they think they can't win against they kick them and uh, that's how they get all their stars okay so you see this small grove of trees I'm gonna figure he's gonna be hiding something in there figure Cav and I'm gonna figure he's gonna bring on all long rifles okay so in this matchup I'm gonna be bringing an Austrian army like I said I'm not gonna bring artillery I'm bringing one general's bodyguard one Wimbiche Jaeger I got six light dragoons I've got five line and I've got six Grinzers so fairly balanced army and his army, I'm going to go ahead and click play here. I know he's got the hill here, so I figure he's going to be camping out on that top of that hill, um, hiding something in that grove of trees. It's just something I've seen players do from time to time. So what we're going to see here, I'm spread out to um, keep myself uh, from getting damaged too badly by any type of artillery barrage he brings on me uh, as soon as the game starts. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Fast forward a little bit. All right, so here we go. Right off the bat, I see he's got a general's bodyguard camped at the top of the hill, and he's got five housers, and all the rest of his units are hidden. So he, he's probably got all longs, or he's got longs and some cav hidden in that tr uh, little grove of trees. If he's got them in that tree grove of trees, I know he's all bunched up, so I'm going to make my advance. I'm going to spread out as much as possible. Uh, with his housers there, I know he's got to have some type of protection if it's all hidden. It's got to be long, a uh, massive amount of long rifle. So I'm going to start walking my Wimboos up the hill. And he can't see them. They're hidden. All the rest of my units he can see. And you can see this hill here is going to be an advantage for me. He, If his longs are behind that hill, which they would be, unless he's walking forward, even if he's walking forward, my Wimboos are walking towards him, um, and most of his shots will be blocked. Now he's going to get his first volley with all of his uh, houtzers, and he gets seven of my Grinzers there, I think. And uh, anyways, so I'm going to be able to start uh, making some uh, plans to counter this. I know I can bring some cav over this hill because you can see all of his shots are going to be blocked. I know he's gonna, not going to want to move too far advanced uh, from his uh, housers because he's going to want some protection for him. So I'm flinging the rest of my units over um, to come from the side of the hill up to the top. So I've got two of my cav units are now uh, that are hidden in the trees. I'm going to bring them out. Here I've got five long rifles that have come out of hiding, so this is when I'm going to spring out my two uh, rifles over there. My Wimboos have come out of hiding as well. He's going to try and drop a stake line with two of his long rifles. So, you can see the rest of my army is going to now start advancing up the hill. And I do bring my two uh, Dragoons over. And again, my two Dragoons are going to be hidden. You can see the hill here. He, if he shoots at my light Dragoons, they're going to shoot the hill. Perfect, perfect, perfect opportunity for me. 
I should have probably fled all of my Light Dragoons over there, but I didn't know what the rest of his army was at this point. So here you can see, um, I'm, I'm going to get the first shot on him, and I do uh, get a few kills with my Wimboos. Um, but now he's got four uh, long rifles coming up to take shots on me as well. So I'm at a massive disadvantage. I only got 45 Wimbushay Jaegers. But here comes my uh, guys over the hill. He's going to try and get a fire on me, but he shoots directly into the hill. I do as well, but I'm going to hit him in melee. And you can see the guys fly in there. He's already wavering. So he's going to shoot everything he's got at me over here with quick line. And he gets a great hit on my second Light Dragoon. And it's going to cause me to start wavering. I already routed out one of his long rifles. And here goes the next one. And I'm shooting them up with my Wimboos as I come. And you can see he had those guys in the trees. He had to pull them out. Uh, as my Light Dragoons came up, I figured I'd flush them out. And I un uh, get all the, his uh, lights out of hiding as well by doing that. And I do get a decent volley on one of his longs, but I only hit like seven of his uh, Light Dragoons. So you can see the mass routing up here. And I was trying to go straight down the hill. <coughs> Unfortunately, one of my Light Dragoons routed, so I didn't have enough to continue the momentum. If I would have been able to continue that momentum, it would have been game over right there. Because I could have just straight right down the line, all the way down all of his lungs. So I've got to try and run up the hill. I'm trying to get that done before his uh, Dragoons get a shot on me. Um, unfortunately, he does. He does shoot some of his own uh, Light Dragoons by making that move. But, uh, yeah, so... There goes my Light Dragoons, unfortunately. But I've got my Grinzers, which I have misclicked and I didn't realize at the moment. And I've got my three uh, lines, um, two lines and uh, one line going for his longs, two lines going for his Houchers and my Wimboos. Sorry, that got all mixed up. So he's going to try and go for my Grinzers. And my Grinzers are just going to unload on his first cab unit here. He's bit it right off the bat. Doesn't even get to touch me. Actually, uh, yeah, one of his lungs right there. And now I'm going to start shooting into his uh, uh, long rifles right there. He does get a great shot on me with the, the howitzers, with the explosive shells. He, he takes out quite a few of my Grinzers there. So now I'm going to continue to push my lines forward so I can prote uh, protect my uh, Grinzers. Um, and I'm just working on that first long rifle right there. He's in a tough spot. And the other three can't do anything. They're stuck in melee with my two lines. And here comes my uh, line is about to hit his artillery. So he's going to be forced to move it. So now his artillery is completely useless. So five units. Complete waste. He did get some good kills with them for a little bit. The rest of this battle, they're going to be a non-effective. So here comes his three light dragoons again. They're coming all the way from uphill, downhill. They're going to get a pretty good momentum charge on me. You can see one of his longs is routing as well as one of my lines. Uh, well, it was wavering, but he didn't break. Unfortunately, my two lines are breaking. But I still got two lines here. They're going to absorb a lot of the um, force of his calf charge right there. And my Grinzers are now going to be able to start just shooting into his calf and whittle his calf down. And once I have his calf down, there's nothing he can do. There is absolutely nothing he can do. I mean, his long rifles outrange my Grinzers, but it will be a matter of time before I can get to him. Because I can use one of my Grinzers as a meat shield, and I still got two pretty full strength lines. So, I'm bringing the lines over to protect my, um, my Grinzers, and here comes my general. He's going to try and focus on my general. That gives me the ability to shoot. So I'm going to be shooting into his... Uh, um, rifles, or I'm sorry, not his rifles, but his uh, uh, goons, and there's nothing he can do. So now my line can start moving back towards his longs, and yeah, here goes his uh, first artillery routing up there, and he's got his general trying to keep my line out from his uh, housers so he can line them up and start shooting again. Um, it does delay me. I almost route, but I am able to uh, keep that unit from routing, thank goodness. And you can see I've got him completely outmatched at this point. 
Um, unfortunately, he is going to limber back up, and he is going to get a decent volley. His calf is completely toast. I should have spread out more here at this point because uh, I should have saw that he was going to get those volleys, but whatever. So I'm going to start shooting into one of his long rifles on the left flank here. And I, my two aligned here, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They're trying to get into melee with the long rifles here, but they're doing all kinds of cattywampus. So my line is still working its way up. As soon as I get in front of them, all I have to do is stand there and shoot them. I don't have to get in melee with them at all. I'm going to move two of my Grinzers out because I see he's starting to limber her up. So I want to get at least two of my Grinzers working uphill so they're not going to get shot. I'm going to try and move my others, uh, but he gets his shot in first. Uh, some of them do some pretty good damage, not extraordinary. He almost wave, uh, got one of my guys to waver. He does route out, but I've still got quite a few men left. The second volley that he got off there didn't do anything really. So now I have his long rifles completely outflanked and that's going to cause uh, morale drops for his uh, long rifles. And I can just start shooting them up with my Grinzers at the bottom of the hill and you can see I've unleashed my first volley from my slow reloading line and I already got one of his howitzers routing and it is good game. I already put GG when I killed his calf. But GG because it was over at that point. And uh, at this point, he knows it's over. Because his long's just routed. And he says, he sends a message. He says, you got lucky. And I said, LOL. I mean, that's just got to be some balls right there. I told him, I said, you got lucky, brother. You got lucky it wasn't worse. Because this should have been worse. This army, all I had to do was come over that hill. Like I brought my Wimbushe Jaeger. He would not have stayed a chance. With the army I had versus the army he had. He would have been absolutely wiped out. He would have been lucky to get 300 kills. But. It is what it is. So, yeah, here you can see he's, all of his artillery is pretty much gone. He's got two units that are almost dead. His general just bit the dust. Now, there it dies. He's gone. So, anyways, um, good game to my opponent. He did, um, he does understand how to use this hill uh, well. Uh, the problem he has in his strategy is... He doesn't have a balanced army. Without a balanced army um, against a skilled player, not that I'm the best because honestly a lot of these matches I'll end up losing because I make careless mistakes, but against some of uh, my friends that there's no way he would have probably even gotten 300 kills. And you can see his army is fairly small because the build is uh, mostly long rifles. So that's that's where the problem is. You're bringing a very small army. Even even if you just bring all line, you just march up line, bring his bring a whole army of line, and there's nothing he can do to stop you. You know he'll kill first couple of units, but eventually your line's going to get to him. And there's nowhere he can go, especially when he's camping in a corner uh, like he was. You lose mobility, and you lose a key advantage there. So, anyways, hope you liked and enjoyed my uh, match versus this troll army build. And if you want to see more, please let me know, and I'll show you some more. Alright, thanks again, everyone. We'll see you on the next video.